Good morning, beloved. Uh, this morning, our devotional is 1 Samuel chapter 5, verses 9 to 12. The Word of God says, But after they had moved it, the Lord's hand was against that city, throwing it into a great panic. He afflicted the, pit, uh, the people of the city, both young and old, with an outbreak of tumors. So they sent the ark of God to Ekron. But as the ark of God was entering Ekron, the people of Ekron cried out, They have brought the ark of God of Israel around to us to kill us and our people. So they called together all the rulers of the Philistines and said, Send the ark of the God of Israel away. Let it go back to its own place or it will kill us and our people. For death had filled the city with panic. God's hand was very heavy on it. Those who did not die were afflicted with tumors, and the outcry of the city went up to heaven. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we pray that you would add your blessing to this reading of your word. Father, we pray that you would help us to not leave you and to be steadfast and steady in our faith. Father, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. A beloved, um, <laughs> I have a, a family member, uh, and, and I, in the interest of somebody in my family not my immediate family but my extended family and uh, I was with this person one time and uh, it was it was a uh, time of prayer somebody had asked me to pray and I, I've never seen a, a family member panic and try to run away the way this family member did they just got so nervous like, eyes got wide and scared and they were like like it was it was almost like a cartoon trying to figure out which way to go a uh, beloved you know the 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 uh, I, I remember one time uh, somebody invited me to uh, a thanksgiving dinner years ago and at the dinner they wanted me to pray for their children and their their family and uh, i got ready to pray and as we ducked our heads i heard <laughs> i heard <laughs> feet running away and I, I opened one eye to see what the noise was to see if somebody was breaking in the house and uh, a family member had ran away scared to be around prayer people uh, that don't know God uh, oftentimes will try to run away from God I'm sure that we all have our own stories about as we were confronted with the need for God and yet we ran away from God ourselves. We need to be prepared for it and be loving and compassionate and prayerful and not despise them because they do now what we might have done in the past. Instead, we need to pray for them. Read with me. But after they had moved, in verse 9, but after they had moved, the Lord's hand was against that city, that's the city of Gath, throwing into a great panic. He afflicted the people of the city, both young and old, with an outbreak of tumors. So they sent the, God, the ark of God to Ekron. They, they couldn't keep the ark. They had to get rid of it. It's a very short time it's there, and yet they all start to die, and they sent it to Ekron. As the ark of God was entering Ekron, the people of Ekron cried out, They have brought the ark of the God of Israel around to kill us. So they called all the rulers of the Philistines and said, Send the ark of the God of Israel away. Let it go back to its own place, or it will kill us and our people. For death had filled the city with panic. God's hand was very heavy on them. Beloved, they saw the power of God. What was their response? To repent? To come to God? To worship God? No, it was to get rid of God, beloved. But there's a very telling statement. In verse 12, the very telling statement, those who did not die were afflicted with tumors, and the outcry of the city went up to heaven. Now, beloved, I want us to, to stop focusing on that city and, and their doom. I want us to understand that instead of condemning those that act that way now, we need to be prayerful for them. We need to bring these prayers and petitions to the Lord. You see, beloved, I, I didn't condemn the family member who ran away. I didn't condemn that, that person that invited me to their home and then ran away so they wouldn't have to be in the room when I prayed. I simply, in my heart, pray for them that God 
will reveal to them his hand in a loving and gentle way so they can receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Beloved, we have a choice we have to make. Will we be harsh, mean, condemn, beat, or will we be loving and gentle, peaceful, and prayerful people? God's way is not to be mean-spirited, not to condemn, but to forgive. God's way is not to harden our hearts, but to be prayerful and to bring before him these people that may not know him. May God bless you as you contemplate those that don't know the Lord Jesus Christ in your own life and bring these prayers to God. May God bless you as you go about your day.